G'day everyone, Coach Neil from the Black Dog Brotherhood Movement here and today I'd like to introduce one of my star clients, Mr. Jared Fishlock. Jazz, thanks for taking the time to be here, dude. I know you're an incredibly busy dude. Yeah, too easy, man. No problem at all. Mate, Great, it has been, uh, it's been amazing to watch uh, the journey that you've been on over the last month and I, wanted to, I really wanted to bring you on because I know that your story in particular is uh, there's a lot of dudes out there who'll be able to relate to it. And not just uh, your backstory, but the fact that you've been able to accomplish so much in such a short time, given the pain that you were in and what you were facing just prior to it. So yeah. if you like, man, just uh, tell all the viewers out there a little bit about your background, uh, sort of your battle with the Black Dog, the injuries that you've had uh, uh, before coming onto the Black Dog Brotherhood program. Yeah, no worries. All right, so um, pretty much my backstory, been in the Army about 15 years, uh, multiple deployments, um, Biggest one being uh, lower back injury, which required um, what heavy opioid medication for a long time. Um, I started taking Lyrica, which is awesome. That brings out all sorts of crazy stuff in your head, which led down the lines of bringing up all the PSD bits and pieces. Uh, I didn't think I had to start uh, had any dramas with that, but um, once the I was unable to sort of keep everything at bay physically. Um, yeah, that sort of started creeping in. So after that, as I said, uh, required surgery in 2006. Yeah, 2016. They ended up uh, slicing my back open, cleaning out the uh, nerve canal, slicing a bunch of, um, grinding a bunch of stuff off my uh, thoracics. Like a simple operation usually takes about two hours, took about four and a half with mine. Um, with that, Massive had to sort of come back to like trying to get fit again and trying to get mobile again walking wasn't that a lift any weights wasn't that a like play with my kids um couldn't do anything really and like had to take baby steps like they go yeah just start walking around the block which from a person that um had passed previously special forces selection tests and stuff like that like level of fitness to that was like yeah yeah pretty tough and like that's left me with um dead nerves down through my right leg and through my right foot so yeah i mean that doesn't drop or anything like it used to like you used to have leg drop now it's just completely sort of numb where you can stomp on it and kick it and i may feel it today i may feel it tomorrow <laughs> yeah, yeah right yeah. on top of uh, on top of all of that so the uh, the medication that you'll put on for your pain management then triggered uh pdsd from things that happened on previous deployments Yep. But then you also found that um, just not being able to do the things that you used to do, it led to, you know, as well as being on heavy op uh, opiates, you're also uh, starting to hit the drink a little bit more to try and sort of cope with just not being the person that you know that you're capable of and the person that you used to be as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's probably one of the bigger things. Like uh, I started putting on weight with the medication, which really started to affect me. The medication wasn't really helping um i was starting to drink a lot more where um i could kill half a bottle of scotch or three quarters of a bottle of scotch and turn up to work the next day fine i could kill a full bottle of scotch and be okay um so yeah that started like i started like experiencing stuff that waves on motion like i'll be driving to work and i'll be in tears driving to work and once i got through the gate I put that mask on again that they talk about and away you go and I was good for the day and then once as soon as I got home I'd be fine but during my wife up and going what the hell is going on with me like why am I in tears why am I physically sick driving to work like what is going on um yeah so that, that was one of the toughest bits and just sitting in the shower I think um crying because I was like in so much pain and just yep. dealing with pain all the time and like drinking like to obliteration like every night to like knock myself out and it usually worked till about three o'clock in the morning then wake up in pain, pain again. again yeah mm. that's fucking extreme dude that's yeah. real that's real extreme now considering where you were this is part of the reason i wanted to have you on dude because considering where you were prior to this and the amount of pain that you were in and the fact that you basically had to do a complete reset you know from a bloke who did special forces selection to a bloke who had to learn to walk around the block again yeah, Tell us about the biggest changes that you've noticed. So you've been with us for just over a month now, but that, and we're in the fortunate position of you actually went and got a DEXA scan prior to starting with the Black Dog yeah. Brotherhood, and you got one uh, at the one month mark. So tell us a little bit about what you've been able to achieve in just one single month. Um, 
Yeah, well, that's, a, that, that's the best thing. I mean, uh, where I'm working at the moment, we've got all that sort of equipment available or I can just go and do it for myself. I was really interested in just to see, like, how this sort of thing would change. And I noticed that um, I put on a couple of kilos of, about three kilos of muscle. So Three kilos yeah, of muscle in one month. About two to three kilos of muscle. Like, I was, like, I noticed that everything was sort of starting to get a bit tight. And I thought I was getting a bit fat and just going off. But um, tape measures are proven that, yeah, like I am losing weight and putting on muscle, so I'm doing the hidden thing. Like my body seems to be reacting the way it used to be. So awesome. um, I've also noticed that on the DEXA scan, it showed that um, uh, visceral fat as well. So that's come down. Um, body fat percentages come down, like during the calipers and that stuff. Um, how, how much, how much body fat have you dropped so far? I've only dropped probably about one uh, percent in a month for one bit over one percent so yep. um, that's not too bad but um but biggest thing that i sort of noticed is that uh biological chronological age and biological age as well for body yep uh, i've dropped about probably three years four years yeah life. right so gained so, three to four years of life yeah so i was that's epic at, uh, well i'm 42 and i was sitting at like 53 or something and i've gone down to like 50 so which is not too bad which is pretty happy considering that um I'll be probably one of those guys sliding into hell with a trash body gun, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there, bro. I'll see yeah. you there. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so, I just, I just yeah. want to put the, I just want to put these numbers into perspective for the, uh, for the people at home. So you say that you've only lost one percent body fat in a mm-hmm. month. So what's your, what's your current body weight, bro? Oh, I'm 107 kilos. So yeah, 107 kilos. So 107 kilos, 1% of that equates to 1.7 kilos of body fat. So to put this into perspective for the, for the viewers out there, if you think about a tub of butter, a tub of butter is 500 grams. So that's basically three and a bit tubs of butter worth of body fat that you've lost in the space of four weeks. But at the same time that you've lost 1.7 kilos of visceral body fat, you've gained three kilos or two to three kilos of lean muscle at the same time. So while your body weight hasn't actually fluctuated too much, your waist measurements are dropping rapidly, but at the same yeah. time, your strength is going through the roof and you're gaining lean muscle. And it's all verified by a DEXA scan as well as gaining two to three years of life after yeah. one month of, that, of getting back into it. Well, that's, that's the biggest thing that sort of blew me away. Like this whole, I went, I knew what I, I thought that I was losing weight and I was going, what the hell? And then, I've been using the home scale like every week. And then it wasn't until I got back to work and I used that scale and compared everything that that's when it showed up. And I went, oh, 107 kilos. But then I started looking at the numbers of visceral fat, body fat, um, bone density scan as well. So water yeah. it all, all takes into that because it's all electricity and how long it takes yeah, yeah. them and come down. And they're the numbers that blew me away. And I, I showed... Um, because I'm really lucky at the moment, like where I'm, I am, as um, I think I've said previously, I'm in the, used to be the Soldier Recovery Center. So now it's the uh, Human Performance Center. So they cover everything from top level soldiers to guys that are discharging to guys with a long-term injury and pick them up from there. So um, we've got everything from like psychs, nutritionists. Um, we've got a Woe One PTI that's in there. We've got Sergeant PTIs. We've got, all these levels of people and I showed them the scans and they were just like, wow, that's, that's unbelievable. Like that's bl- really blowing cool. away professionals. Yeah. They're going, this is really good. Like, what are you doing? And I'm going, well, I told them about the program and they went, wow, that's, that's, that's brilliant. And yeah. So it was yeah, man. Really awesome. Like the feedback from that, cause I was just going, uh, bone density increasing. So for me, bone density increasing is brilliant considering like all the injuries that I carry. Or yeah, man anyone sort of carries increase your bone density and 100 percent. and yeah. these all these changes they haven't come about through starving yourself they haven't come about through doing hours and hours of fucking cardio on a treadmill it's been you know four workouts a week for sort of 45 minutes and proper nutrition and you know and one of the things with our nutritional protocol is dudes have, in fact dudes struggle to eat the amount of food that they need to eat to lose weight like oh, yeah. starve themselves. We're at the other end of the spectrum where guys are eating more than they've ever eaten in their life, but they're eating the right food. So do you feel like with this, with all the changes that you've made, have you had to struggle through like, you know, long endurance sessions of cardio or starve yourself or live off of rabbit food or anything like that? No, well, that, that's a consideration. Like um, I'll follow the 
um, special forces entry test like PT program for 16 weeks where I was constantly sore, constantly starving. <laughs> like, I was eating everything and I still looked like almost like a changy victim. I was, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like people going, you're looking gaunt, you're looking fit, you're looking gaunt. And I was, I was wrecked. My body was physically wrecked and tired all the time. But um, since doing this program, I mean, I'm eating everything in sight like that food window. I'm smashing all the good food <laughs> on these proportions. And I'm, I'm even jumping on YouTube looking at like what else can we eat? Jeff Cavalier and that. And he's <laughs> 5% body fat and showing the meals and his meals are bigger than mine. And I'm going, yeah. holy wow, like this is. You look at professional <laughs> bodybuilders who walk around at hundreds of kilos and 5% body fat. Yeah, they're chemically enhanced, but we won't talk about that. But the fact is to get that lean. They're eating 6,000 to 10,000 calories a day. They're just, yeah, well, just putting it away, but it's all the right foods. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. And like you look into, um, you jump on any YouTube stuff and you look into the 300, the guys that did 300. Yeah. Hey, um, you look at um, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. And it's all about nutrition, large amounts of good quality right, nutrition and yeah. you lose body fat. But the meal sizes, People would go, how are you not 300 kilos eating all that sort of stuff? But I mean, I constantly, I'm eating and I'm still, and my body's burning it. And I feel like um, it's noticeable. Like I'm sweating yeah. because my body's running hot all the time. <laughs> the thermogenics all the time. Yeah, even, man. Even sitting in the air conditioning, Cal comes home from work last night, my wife, and goes, wow. Have you just been training? And I'm like, God, uh, no. And nope. I <laughs> I'm digesting. Yeah, man, hundred percent. It's brilliant. So, yeah. one of the philosophies I live by is that the goal of losing fat is to eat as much as humanly possible while still losing fat. The only time you need to cut anything is when that process starts to slow down. So, it's uh, and you'd be most people are amazed at how much you can actually eat to actually achieve that. Yeah, um, I'm blown away as well. Like just going. I mean, I've known, I dabbled in food and like. Uh, it's just a different training philosophy. Like I've done, uh, we talk about like previous sort of stuff that I've done. I've done things like uh, hero workouts for CrossFit stuff every single yep. day. And I've been able to eat full pecan pies on my own and like <laughs> be fine. And but, um, uh, as, as carrying injuries and stuff that I do now, I can't train like I used to do like those massive. You're not yet, mate, just like me now. We're all men yeah, together. It's, it's, it's exactly, it's injury. And um, yeah, I mean, I was looking at um, his name, Josh Bridges, like one of the top CrossFit athletes. I was actually watching his video last night on how he's gone out and won CrossFit games and everything that he changed was nutrition. Yeah. And what's allowed, I mean, this is a guy that's elite cross lead athlete and um, is at the top of his game, ex-Navy SEAL. Yep. But, and I mean, and he was saying that, like, the stuff that he's cut out and the, the stuff that he's done that's allowed him to get where he is. And it's all nutrition. And they show it, like, he broke down his daily eating. And holy crap, like, that dude's a weapon. But yep. nutrition, he goes, nutrition's the only thing that he changed in his um, training protocol. And, yeah, that's what's done. It. So, Changed yeah. everything. Yeah, it's 100%, great. dude. Yeah. 100%. Now, the other thing I want to touch on is the fact that uh, you are actually an incredibly busy dude. So, obviously, full-time soldier, sergeant in the Army, uh, and you're also a father of three, um, a lot of time looking after the kids because your wife works full-time as a nurse as well, and she was yep. studying as well. So, as yeah. well as working full-time in the Army, you're pretty much you know full-time dad on top of that as well, and you still get the time to get the workouts in. How do you find, uh, how have you found being able to juggle the training, the nutrition and work and the kids? Is it all sort of gelled together for you? Um, yeah, definitely. Like um, I noticed that um, during the week, it's not too bad when the schools are on because I've got access to the gym. So I get up in the morning, uh, help my wife with everything. She gets off the work. I deal with the kids and then I take them to uh, drop off at school. I'll go to work. I'll do the things that I have to do. Like, um, I'll set all the courses up and do bits and pieces. Then I'll go and train in my gym. Um, but the uh, biggest thing was that over the Christmas holidays, I had them like 24-7. So yep. um, it was either I get up in the morning, I go out and I train. Like I feed the little, I feed the youngest one, Jackson. He's like six, nearly seven. So I feed going him. On 20. Yeah, going at 20. Yep. I feed him his um, first meal of the day. Um, 
Actually, second meal of the day usually has breakfast with Kelly when she gets up. <laughs> I'll give you second meal of the day, and then I'll go out and train. Um, I've got some stuff in the gym that I've brought. Um, Facebook's excellent for anyone that wants to like, get heaps of secondhand stuff. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll go up and train with them. Or even he wants to go for a bike ride, I'll go out and go bike riding with him. Go, I'll follow him, walk, walk on behind him. There's always been time in the day to get it in, no matter what. Yeah, even, just, just, even playing single dad to three kids, there's always time to get it in. You've got to sit down, you've got to prioritise yourself. Like, even when they went go to sleep, like, I started thinking back to when I was training for Special Forces and getting up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning and going to gym and training at, like, 10.30 at night. I'm yeah, going, man. Instead of sitting down and watching a movie, you know, I can go out the shed and train. Get it in. 100%, so, dude. Well, that's it. I mean, you just got to, you've got to prioritise you and you've got to look at... Um, it comes down for me, like, um, get back to, like, looking after myself. getting Prioritising my you. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's good. I like it. Um, it feels good. I feel good after it. I feel, and it's, it's quiet. It's just me. I'll put my headphones in and I'll just train or I'll listen to some, I'll listen to music and I'll just go out and train. And it's me. It's just me time. It's 100% it's just dude. focus. And, like, if I'm angry or something's in, in my head, um, I can just get out on the wake line. Out. Yeah, and either just destroy it. If I'm angry, like, wow, your strength goes through the roof when you're angry. So, yeah. 100%, dude, 100%. Yeah. Mate, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the, the, the support that you've had for the last month through the program, not just from me, but from the actual community. Because what I really, the big thing that I find is different for what we do compared to every other coach or every other PT out there, any Muppet can download a fucking training program off the internet. Anybody can download a diet from fucking bodybuilding.com or whatever. I find that the community and the dudes we've got in there are just amazing at lifting each other up because everybody's walked the same walk and everybody's talking the same talk. Like everybody's on the same page. They're all dudes who have battled the black dog. Tell us about the support you've had uh, from the program, from uh, me as a coach and from the other dudes inside of the actual black dog brotherhood. Yeah, no worries. Um, well, you as a coach, like the way you've got it set up is incredible. Like it's not any other, like you said, like um, I've downloaded programs from bodybuilding.com. I've used them before. I've used Previx experience and just done the stuff that I need to. I've done, I followed uh, CrossFit.com and followed all their workouts. But the difference that I found with this is the onboarding videos are incredible. It actually makes you sit down and look yourself as to like what you are, what you've done previously, where you've been and where you want to go. What stopped you in the past? So you know it. It's there in front of your face by the time you start. You know what's happening. Um, and that's the biggest thing that I sort of noticed is that. And then thing that people don't really understand about um, any sort of mental health issue is that it controls you like if very you much. It, it'll, it'll control you and the hardest thing is like people don't understand like if you like I was talking to my boss the perfect example to my boss the other day at work she was saying that one of her very good friends is suffering from this ex uh, 6 R digger lived through the um, sort of the, really tough times. They lost 10 people and he lost like three of his best mates in the space of like two months. Yeah. Um, he went from someone that was cooking huge exotic meals to sending her photos of uh, jelly and fruit that he'd made. And that was his best for that day. And I mean, and that's, that's the thing like that um, you have to deal with like some days you, you push your, you push your ass. To get out of bed, let alone go to work yeah. after kids. Yeah, and go to gym is huge in your head. And like, um, that's the, that's, I mean, that's the thing that I love about this. Like you jump online and there's guys going, Hey, I did this and I didn't do really well. Blokes are going, fuck yeah, man. That's awesome. You've done really, really well. You you got to gym. Yeah. You got there. You did it. Like you might not have did it, done it to the level that you wanted to, but you've got there and that's got out of bed and you fucking did it. That's the huge, huge thing. And you sit there and you look back and you go, wow, I did do that where I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do this, but I forced myself. And these guys are going, yes, because they understand. And that's the biggest thing that I love about this whole program is, yeah, you have guys going, man, you're killing it. You've done well. Like you've got out of bed. You've done this. You've gone to gym. You've done it. You've got, that's, and which is brilliant. So absolutely brilliant program. So. Awesome, bro. Mate, if you could go back to before this program and give uh, young Jared some advice about, you know, if, if young Jared was sitting on the fence about doing this program or if there's anybody out there sitting on the fence about jumping in and giving this a go, what would be your advice to them or to young Jared? Um, definitely give it a go. Like, if you've got any sort of... Like, if you want to get back to where you were 
if you want to face what's going on with you, definitely give the program a go because the guys are there to help you. The um, support network is incredible. Like for me, I had a support network, but a lot of my mates, as you know, being in the army, they post in and out and you get some support network back, you otherwise go and you've got to build up that rapport again and go again. Um, but with this program, the support network's there. The program's brilliant. It covers off everything, it gives you the rundown of nutrition to eat, the stuff you need to eat. Um, the prehab is huge. Like, that's brilliant. You go through prehab for injuries and the rest yeah, days and why you have the rest days. The fact that you jump on and you jump on in videos and you explain um, nutrition side of the house, you explain, um, go through things like uh, branch chain amino acids and all that sort of stuff, like what they actually do to you, where a lot of people go, oh, yeah, take some BCAAs and you walk into a nutrition shop and you walk out going, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you go, oh, yeah, yeah. You walk out with like $500 worth of stuff going, what do I do with this? But um, <laughs> advice-wise, yeah, if you, if you want to get, if you want to get, control of your life and you want to understand like what is going on where you are and you want to be around guys that are wanting to move forward are taking that step just do it like definitely definitely do it awesome dude man so for everybody who's out there watching what we've got here is we've got a, a bloke who's 42 years old has had severe injury to the point where he had to have spinal surgery has battled pdsd has battled with the bottle and in the space of a month, he's been able to gain two to three kilos of lean body mass. He's dropped a percent of body fat at the same time in just a month. Guys, there's, this is the program that is for, it's designed for guys with depression. It's designed for guys battling the black dog by a guy who's battling the black dog. And it's an absolute honor and a privilege to be able to work alongside guys like Jared and guys like uh, the other dudes in the community. So if you're sitting on the fence, don't. Jump on in, shoot us a message, lock in a coaching call. Uh, we're coaching right now and we've got about 20 spots open in the next month for guys who are keen to jump on and give it a go. Jared, thank you so much for your time today, dude. Uh, more Cheers, importantly, thanks, thanks for your honesty and your candor. Um, it's, uh, you know, I think that especially for guys, they need to hear this sort of stuff that it's okay to talk about, you know, these things that it's okay to fucking, you know, get it out there and let people know that, you know, dudes do deal with this shit. So thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you for your honesty. And man, I look forward to seeing you. You're on for another year, man. So I look forward yeah. to If that's what you can do in a month, I'm fucking keen to see what you can do in 12 months, dude. It's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, so right. like, yeah it's, uh, as I said, I've got my hunger back. I've got my focus back and I've got everything back, So, it, which is good. And I mean, uh, the more I step forward, the more I take the power off the dog. So you got it, brother. What do you got to do? So, yeah. One step at a time. Yeah. All right. For all the guys who are watching, click the link below, have a look, um, book yourself a coaching call, and we'll see what we can do for you guys. Jazz, I'll see you inside the community real soon, my friend. Too easy. No problem at all. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. You too. See you, mate. Your background, uh, sort of your battle with the Black Dog, the injuries that you've had uh, uh, before coming onto the Black Dog Brotherhood program. Yeah, no worries. All right. So, um, Pretty much my backstory, been in the army about 15 years, uh, multiple deployments, um, biggest one being uh, lower back injury, which required um, like heavy opioid medication for a long time. Um, I started taking Lyrica, which is awesome. That brings out all sorts of crazy stuff in your head, which led down the lines of bringing up all the PTSD bits and pieces. Uh, I didn't think I had to start uh, had any dramas with that but um once the i was unable to sort of keep everything at bay physically um yeah that sort of started creeping in so after that as i said uh required surgery in 2006 yeah 2016 they ended up uh, slicing my back open cleaning out the uh, nerve canal slicing a bunch of um grinding a bunch of stuff off my uh, thoracics, like a simple operation, usually takes about two hours, took about four and a half with mine. Um, with that, Massive had to sort of come back to like trying to get fit again and trying to get mobile again. Walking wasn't allowed to lift any weights, wasn't allowed to like play with my kids. Um, couldn't do anything really and like had to take baby steps. Like they go, yeah, just start walking around the block. 
which from person that um, had passed previously special forces selection tests and stuff like that, like level of fitness to that was like, yeah, yeah, pretty tough. And like that's left me with um, dead nerves down through my right leg and through my right foot. So yeah, I mean, that doesn't drop or anything like it used to, like it used to have leg drop. Now it's just completely sort of numb where you can stomp on it and kick it. And I may feel it today. I may feel it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. On top of uh, on top of all of that, so the uh, the medication that you're and like um that's the that's I mean that's the thing that I love about this. Like you jump online and there's guys going, "Hey, I did this and I didn't do really well." Blokes are going, "Fuck yeah, man, that's awesome. You've done really really well. You you got to gym. Yeah, you got there. You did it. Like you might not have did it, done it to the level that you wanted to, but you've got there. And that's you got out of bed and you fucking did it." that's the huge, huge thing. And you sit there and you look back and you go, wow, I did do that where I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do this, but I forced myself. And these guys are going, yes, because they understand. And that's the biggest thing that I love about this whole program is, yeah, you have guys going, man, you're killing it. You've done well. Like you've got out of bed, you've done this, you've gone to gym, you've done it. You've got, that's, and which is brilliant. So absolutely brilliant program. So Awesome, bro. Mate, if you could go back to before this program and give uh, young Jared some advice about, you know, if, if young Jared was sitting on the fence about doing this program or if there's anybody out there sitting on the fence about jumping in and giving this a go, what would be your advice to them or to young Jared? Um, definitely give it a go. Like, if you've got any sort of... Like, if you want to get back to where you were, if you want to face what's going on with you, definitely give the program a go because the guys are there to help you. The um, support network is incredible. Like for me, I had a support network, but a lot of my mates, as you know, being in the army, they post in and out and you get some support network back. You otherwise go and you've got to build up that rapport again and go again. Um, but with this program, the support network's there. The program's brilliant. It covers off everything. It gives you the rundown of nutrition to eat, the stuff you need to eat. Um, the prehab is huge like that's brilliant you go through prehab for injuries and the rest yeah, days and why you have the rest days the fact that you jump on and you jump on in videos and you explain um nutrition side of the house you explain um go through things like uh branch chain amino acids and all that sort of stuff like what they actually do to you where a lot of people go oh yeah take some bcaa's and you walk into a nutrition shop and you walk out going what was that i don't know <laughs> yeah, you go, oh yeah yeah you walk out with like 500 dollars worth of stuff going what do i do with this but um, <laughs> advice wise yeah if you if you want to get if you want to get control of your life and you want to understand like what is going on where you are and you want to be around guys that are wanting to move forward are taking that step just do it like definitely definitely do it awesome dude man so for everybody who's out there watching what we've got here is we've got a, a bloke who's 42 years old has had severe injury to the point where he had to have spinal surgery has battled pdsd has battled with the bottle and in the space of a month, he's been able to gain two to three kilos of lean body mass. He's dropped a percent of body fat at the same time in just a month. Guys, there's, this is the program that is for, it's designed for guys with depression. It's designed for guys battling the black dog by a guy who's battling the black dog. And it's an absolute honor and a privilege to be able to work alongside guys like Jared and guys like uh, the other dudes in the community. So if you're sitting on the fence, don't. Jump on in, shoot us a message, lock in a coaching call. Uh, we're coaching right now and we've got about 20 spots open in the next month for guys who are keen to jump on and give it a go. Jared, thank you so much for your time today, dude. Uh, more Cheers, importantly, thanks, thanks for your honesty and your candor. Um, it's, uh, you know, I think that especially for guys, they need to hear this sort of stuff that it's okay to talk about, you know, these things that it's okay to fucking, you know, get it out there and let people know that, you know, dudes do deal with this shit. So thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you for your honesty. And man, I look forward to seeing you. You're on for another year, man. So I look forward yeah. to If that's what you can do in a month, I'm fucking keen to see what you can do in 12 months, dude. It's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, so right. like, yeah it's, uh, as I said, I've got my hunger back. I've got my focus back and I've got everything back, So, it, which is good. And I mean, uh, the more I step forward, the more I take the power off the dog. So you got it, brother. What do you got to do? So, yeah. One Come step at a time. Man.
All right. For all the guys who are watching, click the link below, have a look, um, book yourself a coaching call, and we'll see what we can do for you guys. Jazz, I'll see you inside the community real soon, my friend. Too easy. No problem at all. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. You too. See you, mate.